Connie, I understand yeah. that you you recently were a member of a jury, but yeah. you didn't get a chance because the guy he took a plea, copped he, a plea. He took a plea. What? Where yeah. was this? In, in Santa Monica or L.A. or where was no, this? No, downtown L.A. Downtown Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. That's where they uh, tried O.J. Simpson, right? I wouldn't know. Okay. I thought that was in Santa Monica. Well, maybe so. Okay. <laughs> and uh, so, um, how many days uh, did you have to serve in the jury? I only was there the first day. That's well, it. So first day, was it kind of a waste of time? You went through all that and eventually... It was really a hassle because the first day, from what I understand, is the most stressful because that's when they, you have to be there really early and then you have to sit in how, this huge how group early of people. Did, how early did 7 you have? 7.45. So you had to be there 7.45 right. in downtown Los Angeles. Right. So what time did you, have, did you have to leave home in order to get there at that time? Oh, I don't even know what time I left. It's probably 6.30. I don't wow. live that far from downtown. But it's just a hassle because you have to park in the Disney concert hall and it's uh -huh. like three long uphill blocks, Gee. which I didn't know. And you know, you're carrying your laptop, you're carrying all your crap. And by the time you get there, they have to go through security, just like at the airport. I was so did you have to take? Did you have to take your shoes off? No, that okay. part they didn't Well, know, it's a little so better don't. than the airport. But you know, and then you sit in this room with hundreds of people and you wait for them to call you. They call people in groups. Then they take you to the courtroom and I'm in the courtroom, and I'm in another group, and then we're being spoken to, and then everybody who wants to get out of it has to raise their hand to say why, which I didn't even bother, because I knew they were I already know the drill, and I knew they wouldn't let me out. So I sit there. Then they called one panel to go up and sit in the jury chairs, and then they interview you further. So I got called into that group. Then they ask you, they give you a thing to read, and they ask you all these questions. All right, you have a family member who's police officer, have you ever been the victim of violent crime, all these kind of things, and you have to answer. And so I had to answer, and I had to answer in private because I had a, a major problem one time, and I didn't really want to announce it to the entire audience, jury, whatever you want to call them, and so then I had to go all the way well, up Well, now this front. major problem, it's, it remains secret even to yeah, the, all the readers of Collector Magazine. Well, it's personal. It was okay. A, it was a, robbery assault situation and it was not very pleasant and uh, you anyway, didn't get convicted of that did you no <laughs> i was the victim oh okay you were the vi you didn't yeah. you didn't rob an assault so no, you were the I was victim the, i was the victim oh okay anyway I'm, I'm still setting up as you can see but so i had to walk up in front of everybody to the with the judge and the district attorney and the defense attorney and tell them and he kept prying and prying and prying until he got everything out of me. Ah. And then I had to go back and sit down. Then we broke for lunch. Then we had to wait an hour and a half. No, no, what did you have for lunch? What difference does that make? Oh, the, the interesting <laughs> detail. Chicken parmesan. Okay, <laughs> chicken parmesan. It was horrible cafeteria food. Anyway, so then we went back and they we were waiting in the hallway and the other group was waiting and then they came out and said that they could go because their person took the plea and we're waiting and waiting and they finally let us in and the judge tells us to all sit together and it was Judge Wachter, the son of the famous Judge it Wachter. It was the judge, the, the people's court the son? son of, yeah. Well, how does, how's he yeah. looking these days? Well, I don't know how he looked before. So. Well, <laughs> how does he look now? <laughs> he looks fine. Okay. I, mean, I don't know what he I, I mean, how old would you say he is? The son? Uh-huh. Does he have black hair? Or? Like 60 ish. 60, okay, so he's a, he's a young man then. Uh, and anyway, he was really cool and he said, you know, usually we just make this announcement out in the hallway, but I felt out of respect to you and appreciation. I wanted to call you all in and tell you myself. Sometimes what happens is, you know, the defendant thinks it over and blah, 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 blah. So he made a deal. With the, with the district attorney. So, so then, so, so the then he tells us like that we're free to go, but we have to go pick up our slip, a proof of service slip. So we're waiting in line for that, and then we get our slip and we go, can we leave now? No, you can't leave. You have to go back out and wait because we'll call you again. That's the 